Prince Harry warned Titus turning against him, should cut his losses and come home. Prince Harry has been warned the tide is turning against him by a royal expert. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are starting a new life in America after quitting royal duties. But royal author Hugo Vickers urged Harry to return to the UK before it is too late. Mr Vickers insisted the Queen's grandson is looking miserable and out of his depth in the US. Writing in the Sunday Telegraph, the royal biographer said, in a few short months, Harry has gone from being a prince with the chance to use his position to achieve much for Britain, the Commonwealth and the military, to a boy lost. Mr Vickers criticized the recent video Harry appeared in with Meghan Markle, which saw the couple speak out on the upcoming U.S. presidential election. The royal author said, he is out of his depth, behaves like a ventriloquist stummy and can barely hide his discomfort. You can't help but feel sorry for the poor man. Mr. Vickers insisted royals are at their best when they support the Queen. He said, those who do their duty, as the Queen has done, invariably emerge happier than those who pursue the path of perceived happiness. The royal expert questioned whether freedom from the royal family has been a greater burden than Harry expected. He said, of course he should cut his losses and come home, before it is too late. The tide is somewhat turning against him, but there is still time. It comes as Meghan, 39, and Harry, 36, are launching new careers away from the royal family. They sparked controversy this week by urging people to vote in November's U.S. presidential election. Their comments were widely seen as backing Donald Trump's rival Joe Biden. And they prompted a response from the U.S. president who admitted he was not a fan of Meghan and wished Harry luck, adding he's going to need it. Buckingham Palace was also quick to distance itself from Harry's remarks amid the furor. The Sussexes revealed bombshell plans to step back as senior royals in January. The announcement led to the Queen holding crisis talks with Prince Charles, Prince William and Harry to discuss their future roles. It was later confirmed they would quit as working members of the royal family and no longer be known as HRH. Meghan and Harry have recently bought an £11 million mansion in California, where they are living with their one-year-old son Archie. They have signed a lucrative deal with Netflix to produce shows for the streaming service as they pursue personal and financial freedom.